Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Evelyn. I'm so excited to tell you guys that I got a hobby at the age of 25. It's probably not a big deal to some of you, but you know that I mentioned this at my first video. I've always been busy with my work back in China, and I have never seriously thought about what I really like. So how did this happen? I went to the Mango Art Festival before. It was the biggest local art festival in Thailand. Actually, I thought it's gonna be another vlog as Euro when I was filming this. I even recorded this intro. So let's find out. So I walked around this art exhibition for almost an hour. I was amazed by these stunning artworks. All these various colors guided by the hands of these artists transform into meaningful and profound artworks. I was like, how on earth did these artists come up with these ideas and put them into their artworks? I could even sense the emotions and ideas that these painters intend to express. I was so touched. Actually, my major in college was animation design. And I also learned some sketching and color theory. But at that time, it was only to complete assignment and get grades. I have never had such a strong impulse to create something with colors. studio on the first floor. I really want to create some of it after seeing so many amazing paintings. So let's do it. Miraculously, I found a painting studio at the first floor where I could paint immediately. The whole painting studio is beautiful and everyone in there was so focused on their artworks. But as people say, the beginning is always the hardest. I stood in front of the canvas for over 10 minutes, not sure where to begin. Eventually, I took some acrylic pens and started sketch. I enjoyed the entire process of painting and I particularly love the part of mixing colors. I'm gonna draw a butterfly on the moon. I just finished my painting, so it's, it's a moon and a little girl with a cat on the moon. So the color that I used. I also added some strange red lines at the bottom. I don't know what this means, the picture just came into my mind. But I can tell you that I was 100% not satisfied with this painting. No matter how I painted, I couldn't achieve the effect I wanted. Having passion alone is not enough to develop a hobby. 
It was like you got so much thought in your mind, but don't know how to say it properly. It was struggle, and I know I need more practice. So that's why you see that opening scene with me unboxing the art tools. You know that every painter starts with imitate, and Pinterest is a great app. I have collected a lot of pictures on it. My goal is to practice one painting every day. These are the paintings I have recently created. These paintings may not be that great, but they are the proof of my efforts. There is a Chinese saying called "Tai shang shi fen zhong, tai xia shi nian gong," which means ten minutes on stage, ten years of practice off stage. You need to do things one step at a time. Hard work will not betray you. And the most amazing part to start this hobby is that I started to slow down and appreciate the beauty in life. Even in some unnoticeable place. Anyway, I will continue to improve my painting skills, and maybe I will show some of my paintings to you in the future videos. Hope you can give me some advice. So that's whole journey of how I find a hobby. Thanks for listening to my story. Bye.